character because he really wants to put time into the character. But his Olimar is still really good. Like, it's really good, Olimar. So the main thing when you find a villager is to watch out for the gyro. You always want to jump over it or spot dodge it. You don't want to do that. Shield it. But you shoot a gyro. As soon as it explodes, you can do another one. Yeah. There we go. It's there we go. Duck it under. That way you can't do it again until it explodes on its own off stage. Smart by those comments so far. That's one thing I noticed about Wild Villager. He does very... He does the same aerial timing, so it's very easy to time your power shield. I do it against him all the time. Yeah. Uh, and same thing with down air and up air. Like when he tries to juggle you or tries to land, just power shield down air. Very easy to do. This is difficult. Even though he's a projectile character, Villager usually wins those. Mega Man's pretty mobile, and his limits are pretty annoying. Not really benefit of popping on him. So Mega Man gives Villager a hard time in that aspect. Say. Well, actually, he's not projectile against you. A lot of characters can't, but it isn't a second D at all. Oh, I was trying to, trying to go for a grab setup. Okay, let's get it. I love how they both have those people that just completely stop it from either villagers aerials or Mega Man flicks. Ooh, nice beer versus metal blade, trying to get uh, some sort of grab off of that. that that's guaranteed to grab, obviously. Oh, get a shape up. Oh, ho, ho, gets. Was that a shield poke? That looked like a shield poke. Either way, wow, back in center stage. I did a good job. He has to be very mobile on his matchup, more so than Because Mega Man himself. So See, right there, he did what you didn't want him to do. He shielded it. Yeah. Shield it, and now additional shield pressure, he can that in the air, and he might come down and fake out the up smash from your shield, and they can't know you Yeah, like, the middle has a ton of mix ups if you shield it. But spot dodge, you know, he only has like a couple options. Yeah. I do like how often Okami's getting the sticky game on Villager. He's making him change up his movement quite a bit in that sticky uh, That backer almost, almost killed him. Projectile war, man. Who's gonna get this kill first? That's that's what's really important here. Who's gonna get the kill? Oh wow, nice follow up. Yeah, I think he wanted he wanted to use deep shield to draw it there to hit him with a fat footstool. But near out of shield. And it worked out. Okami's uh, edge, uh, not edge guards, his uh, recoveries have been really good. Yeah. He's sticky villager almost every single time he gets a tree out there. He wants to make him fall away from the tree so he can't throw it out and chop it and have that mix up on the ledge. Yeah, well, Okami cannot get in right now. Oh, wow, I went for the I like the read, but not, not there. Hit yeah. the grab and all the way. There's the up air. Oh, okay. that's gonna do it. Dead even. Alright. <laughs> I do. That attempt was pretty funny, I don't know why. Trying to nair through these pellets, it's not working out though. Yeah, really oh. should definitely know how it feels to have an area that is exactly, dude. Like, <laughs> this is, how does it feel? <laughs> <laughs> is this gonna do the people? Oh, this is awful. Oh, the down tilt. Yeah, it seems like uh, while he's changed up his game, he's doing a lot more aggressive now. He's a lot more normal and less hey. of his uh, forward air back. He's taking a lot of damage so far. I'm not sure. He's not using the gyroid. He's not sure what he's talking about. He's doing a lot of damage for him. Ooh, there's the shield pressure. Oh, but the jab pushed him off stage. Back to a little bit now. Yeah, Wild has not been able to get anything started. Yeah, he's trying to jump too close to Mega Man. He's jumping in pellet range, so that way he's just getting stuff. Good spacing on his aerials, though. That, that, he hasn't gotten punished by a forward air back there. Ooh, Ooh read the cross up. That was so Ooh. smart. He already knew. See? He's not going to in there and get shield there. That's what I'm saying. Behind me. I know he's going to Read the cross up. Like, that's one of Villager's main, like, his Villager does have a problem with shield due to the fact that, you know, his grab is bad. Yeah. So he has, he relies on the cross-up and the side beam. And right there, what, what else is he going to do? He's going to land right in front of you and get shield grab? No, he's going to cross you up. That's one of those, I believe you're smart enough player to not do the obvious, obvious it's type. so things. obvious, yeah. So he's like, he knew he's not going to do that. He's, he, he was waiting for it. See, look, there is crouch canceling. Okay, you saw that tip? So that crouching reduces your knockback. <laughs> but uh, it's so random in this game, I swear. Going to SD, uh, the camper delight. He, as you say, he did go Olimar game too. Yeah, like I said, it, it, it was pretty rough, so he's gonna go Olimar. Which uh, I don't know about this match, to be honest. Oh wow! Oh wow! Big damage. Kamek is a lot better. This character I can tell. Man. That's what I'm saying. This Olimar's good. Which is why I don't. I, I mean, he wants to pick up for certain matchups like Villager, but I don't see him replacing Olimar. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. Auto cancel down there. Interested to see how well of time he attacks uh, Villager's blind spot. I'm sorry, Olimar's blind spot. They actually have the same blind spot. Um, diagonal in front of them. Yeah. Both characters have that same blind spot. It's, it's really difficult to deal with. They don't have like an anti air like move yeah. to deal with that. So let's just see how Okami, how he attacks it, how how well he uses it. Yeah, he needs song. to get rid of these Pikmin as quick as possible, too. He's, he took a lot of damage from just Pikmin. 
the end. Like, he needs to look. He's just taking it. Oh, wow. Okay. That's not good. He's not, he has lemons to literally deal with Pikmin. Not anyway. caring about the Pikmin at all. Maybe he wants to rage. Ooh, I like it. That was... Ooh, good okay, tech. good tech. Good tech a good roll away from uh, Wild right there. He didn't want to get back throw at the ledge. Okay. Start by him to use that uh, leaf shield to yeah, stop the enemy. There's like only two options you could do out of that, like I said. You, you can either throw it or grab. Yeah. You use it just, just to stop Olimar's movements and then... It's, it's like a pellet, but you can... Oh! Ooh! Metal Blade up to... Yeah. So stylish. Street Fighter's next week, guys. Street Fighter's next week. Yeah, man. So stylish. Right, the one godsend for Mega Man in this matchup is being his buzz saw just goes through everything. <laughs> well, yeah, I ain't worried about this thing set up it's too much. It's weird that all these still staying in a range to get hit by pellets. He's not really using the picture control very often. Because he's not noticed that Okami's not really getting rid of them very fast. He's not caring too much about the picture at all. Now, uh. Okami is uh, about to approach up throw kill percent from the blue Pikmin. Oh, what happened? He had a leaf shield out. Yeah, leaf shield? Oh, yeah. okay. Leaf shield out, so. Oh, that's exactly what Wild needed. He's, yeah. only, he's only down 34. He could definitely bring this back. As you said earlier, you, all you can do is throw it. <laughs> so at that point, you can't <laughs> throw it. Nothing. Die. You can't do nothing. Oh, there's a grab. Doesn't get any follow up, however. I wonder why he's going to notice it. Oh, Ooh, good oh I, I thought oh. he was going to go for another downer. <laughs> oh my god, that would have been disgusting. That would have been cute. No more Pikmin throws now, or trying to. I do like that change up. Oh my goodness. That was interesting. That was interesting, yeah. The oh, up? no bad on that back air. Barely lives that. Oh, let's uh, cut the stage off. I want the left front back air. But yeah, good buffer option. Yeah, good buffer something. Yeah, but you gotta be careful next time because wow, uh, Okami's gonna look for that buffered option. So while Okami really hasn't gone to the blind spot, he has used his soft pretty well to cut the stage off. He's just outplaying him in neutral. Yeah, he's like he's like throwing the soft straight down, so he can't really run past it. He's keeping them caged in. Whoa, dang! That that, uh -oh. that pivot grab. Don't sleep on that pivot grab. Holy crap! Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't want to say this is in a uh, just. Wow can still like get like some jet. Oh, Ooh, never mind. Yeah. Shutting me right up. Like no, no comeback for you. And yeah, he noticed that. Like I say, last time he buffered the input, he rolled on stage. Yeah. So this time he's like, okay, he's gonna he's gonna buffer input. He's gonna get Trump. He knows Trump back there is yeah. guaranteed. That was that was smart. He because he realized he did that last time. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna roll again to get away from the ledge as safely as possible. So he read the roll, ended with the up smash. So, so he read the roll and then he died. <laughs> smart stuff.